Hi Sagittarius, this is gonna be a quick message. We're gonna keep it brief and cute, okay? Um, this can apply if you have Sag as your sun, moon, or rising sign. Okay, be sure to take what resonates and leave what does not. And if someone else shows up in your story, choose which side of the story you are on. And if you're cross-watching for a Sagittarius, same thing. Okay, so let's see. Sagittarius, please, I mean, ooh. So we got compassion here that flew out. Okay, so some of you guys may need to uh, be a bit more compassionate with yourself and or others or vice versa, you know. Um, adventure, hold on. Um, yeah, we got frustration. So yeah, a lot of you guys, this still, so we got stillness here, upright. This reminds me of the sports force energy, but also that hangman energy, which, been, which came out in your last reading I did for you guys about you guys surrendering, right? Because we got manifestation in the reverse. A lot of you guys could be frustrated about something that you're trying to make happen or a few things you're trying to make happen, and maybe things are coming in slow or something feels stuck and stagnant. We have reflection here, right? Okay, and then we have illusions. A lot of you guys are not seeing that you may be the one standing in your own way here. Okay, some of you guys may be trying to blame external forces, blame other people, but you need to, you know, these manifestations are going to always be in this reverse until you take some self accountability and look at yourself. That could be the, you could be the culprit here because we got accomplishment here, right? Okay, but it's behind illusion. So, you know, it may be some time to, again, stillness is required. Surrendering is required. And some of you guys may be going through an ego death as well. So things may feel slow or put on hold. It may be, you may feel like things are going good or things are speeding up and picking up. And then it's like this. You know, it's like, it's because when things start to pick up, it's like you guys, see, you guys are the temperance angel for a reason, right? Yet when one thing is when one thing is happening, you neglect something else. So say you're in a relationship, right? You start to pour into that, you neglect your business, you neglect your money, you neglect yourself. So then that's something with that starts to happen. But then your business may pick back up. So then you may think, okay, I'm meant to just be alone and focus on money. That's the only way. The, uh, 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 uh. No, you need to find a way. You need to learn how to balance. That's why you guys are the temperance angel. The angel has one foot in the water and one foot on the on the rock. Okay, you guys have to find balance. And we got the balance card here in the reverse. Okay, so a lot of you guys, again, you know, you need to get into your actual energy here. You guys, you know, yeah, friendship. Ooh. We got friendship here. Okay, so let me see. Guys could be meeting new friends or, or wanting to rekindle a friendship here. Okay, um, you got wealth here, father sky, intuition. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you've got, I mean, I feel like your finances, if they haven't been looking good, they will be. Okay, you know, but I feel like this is going to be something that it's going to come wealth and it, can, it doesn't have to always mean finances. Wealth can mean health. You know, some of you guys are going to be getting better. Some of you guys are going to be um, thinking better. Um, we're in cancer season right now. So, you know, you guys may be feeling more frustrated than usual. It's because you need to tap into your feeling space, your heart space, especially here with this intuition here. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, make sure you are tapping into that. Drink more water. Okay. Eat more root vegetables and stuff, especially red fruits and vegetables. But um, wealth can mean anything, right? If you've been worried about money, I feel like that will pick up. Um... But, you know, just, yeah, balance. Some of you guys, it may come in, this that, that, that may come in as an opportunity out the blue, out, like, it may not be, something may be coming in, and if, it, if it's not about money, the world can mean anything. Something, because you see how these little things are falling from the sky, and, you know, the trees, to me, trees represent wealth and things growing and things happening, right? It, it may just be, this could be something that you may, I don't know, some of you guys may hear from a father or a father figure out the blue, or if this person has passed on, you may be getting dreams. Okay, this father figure, this could be a father, a grandfather, or whatever, right? They, some type of masculine energy, they could be trying to talk to you within your dream space here. So, you know, pay attention to your dreams right now. Okay, so let's see. Let's clear, let's clarify compassion for our Sagittarius placements. We got the emperor here, okay? So some of you guys could be husbands, fathers. This could be your father here or a father figure. Yeah, maybe they weren't a part of your life because of, you know, whatever issues they have. You got empress. 
Taurus Libra energy. Some of you guys could be in a, um, if you guys follow the whole twin flame thing or the divine masculine and feminine thing, that could be what you got, you know, that could be something that you guys are um, in right now. Um, I also feel like this could be your mother for some of you, right? Some of you guys may need to, your mother could be a cancer or have those placements, okay? Um, but, you know, there's some compassion here that is needed, all right? She could be an Aries too with this emperor. Um, there's some compassion here that's needed for somebody. It's something, some of you guys have, hold on. I, let's see something. What's the compassion here for Sagittarius? Yeah, you got some quick, you got some, um, this could be coming from a Pisces too, okay? This could be coming from somebody that, yeah, some of you guys could be fearing, uh, like getting let go of a job or not having work or, or some child support for some of you guys. Yeah, some of you guys could be meeting with a lawyer or some, some legalities here. You guys, yeah, mm, okay, so hold on, well, I'm for here. Drop your thing, Mama. Yeah, tennis war. So this could have been something in regards to a masculine energy of some sort here. This could have been a father figure that you guys never really got a chance to know or meet. Or maybe they could have left quickly. I don't know. Like, they could have been really in and out. Okay, somebody could have said something really harsh to you as a as a, as a a child. Maybe not a young child, but maybe like a teenager or not a baby, but like a child, like 10 or up or something like that. Or you could have saw something and this kind of, this could have guarded because with the compassion here, there's the chain around the heart, it's locked. That could have closed, something could have happened whether it was with the, whether it was as you were a child or you seen something growing up as a child here. Something could either, be, something could have either happened or you could have seen things or something could have been said to you that could have really locked up your heart here. Okay, and you guys may, with this, with this ten of swords in reverse, a lot of you guys may be having a hard time getting past this. Some days you do and some days you don't. Some days you feel like this king of wands and then some days you're in the scarcity mindset where you feel like you just, yeah, you, you're doubting yourself. Okay, yeah, king and queen. So we had the emperor and the empress and now the king and queen of wands. So a lot of you guys definitely, some of y'all could have misjudged your own divine. Ooh, ooh, Okay. So, I feel like because of this betrayal or because of whatever you guys could have gone through in the past, I feel like a lot of you guys could have turned your back. With this Ace of Pentacles, you guys had a solid... And with... Oh, fuck me. Okay, I get it now. I get it. With the Okay, I get it. The lack of intuition and the father sky here, right? Some of you guys were given... And this wealth could have been love. It Maybe it wasn't... It could have been a friend or it could have been love, whatever. But, or a business or money, whatever. So you guys were given or handed an opportunity for something to have the potential to be big. Aces are big opportunities. But you guys could have doubted yourself. You could have misjudged this person this queen of wands person people could have said things about her or you could have just misjudged her based off of you know superficial reasons or you could have just came to a decision or a conclusion about her too quickly or somebody could have you know could have gotten your head about somebody but this was your match king and queen of wands it's somebody that you guys are both attracted to each other you guys are both go-getters you guys are both creative you may have your own businesses you know but somebody here could have missed out on the opportunity here yeah some of you guys it could have been due to your ego yeah we got the lovers here gemini energy right this could have this was definitely a divine um counter this definitely could have been like a twin flame or divine counterpart situation and i feel like a lot of you guys aren't happy about that you guys could have had an ex or a mother figure or somebody and you could have friends even in your head because they were jealous of this they knew about this partnership before you did whether you're aware about this or not yeah that's crazy but anyways so that's for the love portion here um, yeah, a lot of you guys, somebody here may want to message you. We got Leo energy, page of wands. The pages are messengers. So I feel like somebody here may want to send you a flirty text or you may get a flirty text here. I also feel like somebody starts to write something and then they delete it and they hold back here. So that's for some of you guys. Some of you guys are really focused on your money here. You're in this king of pentacles energy. Okay. Taurus energy here or any earth sign, Virgo and Capricorn. What's this frustration for Sagittarius placements? Yeah, two of cups. Some of you guys are frustrated with a friend or um, in regards to some type of um, partnership or connection here, a love connection. Yeah, a lot of you guys feel hopeless. Some of you guys feel like you missed an opportunity here. You guys could have, yeah, I feel like you guys walked away from your own blessing here. A lot of you guys, because look at this. Yeah, you guys, some of you guys feel defeated. You're, you're kind of frustrated or upset at yourselves here. Okay. Yeah frustration for Sagittarius placements 
yeah some of you yeah some of you guys are, are not sleeping well or some of you guys are losing sleep and energy over this you guys got it and i said this in your last reading for you guys to get out of your heads a lot of you know i don't know i was going to do your reading last because i feel like for the past few the couple readings it's just been really um repetitive because i feel like some of y'all are being really hard-headed um but you know doesn't surprise me some of you guys could be feeling frustrated if you guys are partnered up and you actually are in communication with the person you want to be with or whatever um there could be some fights here somebody could be being inconsistent on um, the passion you know maybe this is something that started fast and if you could feel like it's ending just as fast it could be an aries what's this fresh two of cups here yeah this is this could be something new maybe you guys rush this okay or you guys are frustrated because you kind of want to rush into it but you kind of want to do things differently this time around Frustration. yeah will of fortune i feel like this i feel like whatever this is was destiny yeah, a tower this could have came out of nowhere but i feel like just as fast as it happened just as fast as it ended and now i feel like some of you guys are now looking because look how he's looking at this um this ace of pentacles in reverse a lot of you guys are like damn i fucked up i you know i missed out on my big i missed out on a big blessing to deal with somebody here who was just inconsistent or to deal with something that start that started and happened just as that and ended just as fast okay um frustration for sagittarius placements yeah ten of pentacles okay this could have been a marriage you went back to or this could have been this could have been somebody that you had a family with, kids with, or this could have been um some of you guys could some of you guys could be um your there could be changes. Some of you guys could have saw a change in your finances as soon as you went back to this person, as soon as you started dealing with this person. Okay, it was something energetically off with this um person though, for a lot of you guys. Something just wasn't the energy could have just been off and therefore um it could have thrown your money off in a, in some way. There could be some conflicts. There could be fights over money here, okay? Um, some of you guys could be getting divorced or separating from something. This could be a job you're leaving behind, okay? Some of you guys could have lost a job or, like I said, you could you could be fearing that. Yeah, what's the time of pentacles in reverse? Somebody here wasn't faithful, though, or committed. Um, or, again, like I said, yeah. Yeah. A lot of y'all were, yeah, a lot of y'all felt stuck in this situation here. Yeah. It was just, yeah, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. Yeah, some of you guys could have emotionally abandoned something or someone, and it's like it backfired here. Yeah, this was your Ace of Cups, too. You know, somebody tried to offer you something, but you guys could have rejected it, or maybe you just didn't get started on it, and you guys could be getting karma for that. Yeah, I feel like you guys didn't really, you guys probably just didn't know what to do or what to decide. You didn't know if you should take a chance on something. Um, you guys could have, yeah. I'll be right back, guys. This is interesting. I'll be right back. Yeah, Sagittarius, um, I'm back. <laughs> Where do, so I feel like, yeah, something could have started fast. Also, I feel like some of you guys could be losing. Some of you guys are frustrated. You could be losing your passion for something or for someone. Maybe something could have started out passionate and now it's kind of like, you know, and you somebody could be trying to find a way to get out of something that they've committed to, okay? Um, something is changing here with this Wheel of Fortune, okay? Somebody could be Somebody could have went away or somebody could be getting out or freeing themselves or getting free from something here. This could be a long-term commitment, a job, a way of thinking, living, okay? A family home, something, whatever. Um, but you guys are showing up in this King of Pentacles, so that's good. What's this Two of Cups here? Whether you're male or female. Yeah, so I feel like some of you guys are going, let's see. Could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. What's the six of two? Okay, so I feel like some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be trying to, yeah, some of y'all dealing with a Pisces. Some of you guys could be rejecting somebody's offer here. You could be holding back from somebody. Yeah, this person, they could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, they could, um, this is somebody that's very emotionally manipulative, okay? Yeah. Somebody could have also been going to like a priestess or something to get magic done on you to keep you stuck or to get you to go back to them. 
All right, here, some of you guys could be getting away from a Capricorn or just something that's toxic here. And you guys may be wanting to go towards this Two of Cups. So it may not be you that's frustrated. It could be this person that you're trying to get away from. Okay, what's this Devil card? Yeah, I feel like this person, yeah, they're, yeah, this is definitely magic at play for a lot, for, for a lot of you guys. Um, friendship here for Sagittarius. Yeah, Six of Cups. So some of you guys could be thinking about a friend here. Um, there could have been some gossip or some, or some, yeah, there could have been gossip around a friendship. We got the death card here, Scorpio. Some of you guys could have ended a friendship here, okay? Or something could be changing in a friendship. Or maybe you want something to change. I feel like somebody here may want to return back to you, an old friend or somebody you know. What's the Six of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the charity. It could be a cancer. I feel like somebody from your... Yeah, this could be um, yeah, an old friend that you could have grown up with since you were little, okay? Um, but I feel like something is coming back. This person may want to come and visit you or you may want to go and visit them. Somebody could be at a distance here. What's this charity? Ooh. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Aries. What's this charity here? Yeah, I feel like... Um, I feel like some, some of you guys could have been, some of you guys are having a hard time making a decision here. You're too caught up in your head here. Whether this is you or some somebody here is too caught up in their head. So like they're, somebody's stuck in the planning phase. Somebody doesn't know what to do because somebody could be overthinking something. Somebody could be weighing the pros and cons. Somebody could also be comparing two people or comparing two things. Somebody could also be feeling hot and cold here. You've got the emperor and the empress. So a lot of you guys are dealing with your divine counterpart. Death card. Yeah, a lot of you guys um, have ended something. I feel like you're healing and getting past it. Okay, I also want to say for a lot of you guys with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse, some of you guys could have missed out on an opportunity because of gossip, or like I said, you could have missed you could have misjudged a person or a situation. Some of you guys um, didn't get all the answers, and you kind of just like you know you just made you just kind of made a decision about someone and like stuck with it. You didn't really give it a chance or you didn't give this person a chance or, and I feel like a lot of it is because of what you've gone through in the past. Um, Five of Cups in reverse. So some of y'all are a bit jaded. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. So something, um, you guys are dropping something. Something is getting dropped here. It could be this marriage, this living situation, relationship, some family. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, yeah. Some of you guys could have some very deceptive friends here, okay? I feel like something's going to be coming out in regards to a child or somebody you're involved with, okay? Or who you have a child with, whatever the case, yeah. So somebody here, I feel like a lot of you guys are wishy-washy or this person that you're dealing with could be wishy-washy one minute, they're hot one minute, they're cold, or this could be how somebody is seeing you, right? A lot of you guys could be needing to rest. A lot of you guys could be in a very bad mental yeah, somebody could also be trying to confuse you and do chaos magic too to keep you stuck and and blocked off here from someone. Somebody's definitely somebody's definitely um doing that. So just be um be mindful of that here. Okay, be mindful of that. But with this compassion card here and the and with Leo ruling and Leo, this is Leo's card, the strength card. You know, again, I keep saying for you guys, you guys need to come from a heart space. You guys are too caught up in your head. And I feel like it's a lot of things in the past, whether it's through childhood, when you were an adult, a teenager, whatever, you guys got to find a way to heal that. For some of you guys, this is about a father or a mother figure that could have hurt you really bad. Maybe they weren't there for you. And, you know, because of that, you guys kind of, the way you show, it, it, it shows in the way you, sh it shows in the people you commit yourself to and what you guys choose to commit to and who, right? And it shows how you commit and how you commit to yourself, most importantly. So, you know, for a lot of you guys, this frustration, um, things could also be changing. You can feel like things are out of your control. Some of you, there could be a loss of finances here for some of you guys. Some of you guys could have made a poor investment, Okay. Yeah, I feel like whoever this devil energy is, whether it's a Capricorn or just somebody who's toxic, I feel like somebody's definitely trying. I feel like a lot of you guys are getting away from whatever this, you're rejecting somebody's offer and they're pissed off because whatever this sex or whatever this, whatever this is, whatever they were trying to do is just not working anymore, okay? 
A lot of you guys are really focused on your finances at this time too. Um, yeah, a lot of yeah. But Aquarius, I mean Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but um, I'm about to say Pisces too. But anyway, Sag, this was your reading. The major signs I see here is Scorpio, Cancer, um, any fixed sign: Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo, Capricorn, and Aries. Um, yeah, so you can you can be dealing with any sign, but I'm just and Leo, I'm just showing the signs that are showing up like in the spread. But this was your reading. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.